to go. What's happening today, Beef? Well, we're on the move again. On the move. Hopefully, it's all good. Getting hopefully, closer to surf. Hopefully nothing breaks, but you never know, <laughs> things break all the time on boats. Stop and, it. And we just gotta fix them. So we're going you know. 26 nautical miles. Right now we're right in between pretty much West End and West End. Little Grand, I think is where Rosie's is. So we've got tw Girls. 26 nautical miles to go today, which we average West between four and five knots. <laughs> We average between West four. In a western <laughs> town in a dead end world. We western average between four and five girls. knots, hoping to be up more towards the five knots. Sorry. And so that take that'll take us just over five hours of that calculation, give or take. So probably about six. So we got a big day, but we got east wind, so it's looking like potentially We're a good sailing, sail. We're sailing, baby. We're sailing. We're gonna sail. Engines off. Beefy's happy, he can never relax, he says when the engine's on, yeah, he's constantly he's looking relaxed. at oil temp, water pressure, wiping off the leaks yes. on the engine, so... When you're sailing, all you've got to worry about is your fridge drawing too much battery power, but other than that, it's, yeah, that's Pretty the good. goal, like, to be sailing from point A to point B with just the power of the wind, it's not costing you a cent, and that's, that's the, the goal, travel the world with using the power of the wind, and you're not leaving any footprint whatsoever on the environment, you just just cruising. But we're going to a beautiful place today. We'll hopefully get some SIM cards so we can sort all that shit out. And um, it takes longer than you think for anyone oh, wanting yeah, to do this. But um, oh, we got a call oh, our, buddy, our buddy boat is calling us. But we're What's heading to ready? Rosie's um, to hopefully get reverie, some, reverie, some water, even though we don't really need it, but it's good to keep it topped up. About ready. All stakes. All right, Cap. I'll uh, just pull the anchor now and uh, we're going to a beautiful place called Double Breasted Key today. Way, it looks amazing. Can't wait to see it and can't wait to show it to you guys. So, yeah. see you out there. Yeah. Yeah. Stunning. The world's most beautiful and narrow anchorage, and we've got a lot of tidal movement here. We've got high tide right now. We've dropped our anchor, we've got wind against tide, and we're sitting over our anchor, and it's our anchor's off to the side. So we're just trying to work out. We don't have much swinging room to have proper five to one scope. Pretty stressful getting in here, not gonna lie, but um, you yeah. still love me. I love you heaps. Sorry, it gets a bit testy on the mics, but um, beefy helm like a Pro. The advantage of putting a bohemian anchor is you'll swing with the tide, but the disadvantage of that is you'll you will swing. Whereas if you got one anchor off the stern, one off the bow, your boat won't move, so you won't have any problem about going to the side. We've only got like 30 feet each side, so if we swing, 10 well, meters, we've got to make sure we don't go too far to the side. So. Tell you what, you would not want to uh, be skydiving and your parachute fail and you land on these bad boys. Ow! How does trees grow out of limestone, David Attenborough? We got a couple of questions for you. Pretty epic spot here for sure. There's like pretty water, no one around. We're literally in the middle of nowhere in. Well, in the Sea of Abaco, but hey, is that a really? Fish? Nah, it's just a no, leaf. it's a little just, fan. It's a little leaf. It's a, a leaf. coral fan. Found a little path to get up here, and we've even got some natural nature's carpet right here. Check it out. 
it's just like walking on a pair of those Sanook thongs, but natural. With maybe things that are going to bite me underneath, but I'm ripping. Here we go. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Views for days, people. Jana's lost her mind already. It's only been a few days, but she's already seen things. That's what happens out here. Yeah, cool. Let's check out nature's picture frame. Can you see? Oh, wow, look at that. Here we go. Free taxi to the boat. See if we can get a few more conch. It might be fried rice and conch and corn fritters tonight. I don't know how to cook it, but I'll, I'll do my best. Give it a go. We've got the one foot wonder over here. One fin wonder, what's I'm going on? Try to single other conch anywhere, but you found the only ones. This is a conch shell. They're very pretty and they've got a tasty, well, I don't even know if they're tasty, I haven't tried it. But. Is it telling you something? Sometimes they carry messages from the sea. You were right and Janet was wrong about everything. Oh, <sighs> That's a lying, that's a lying conch shell. But she's your dream woman, so I just agree with whatever she says. <laughs> Beefy's first conch. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Followed by Bacardi with the Mafia. 
dinner date followed with Bacardi and the Mafia. May all anchoring be that smooth and easy. They say this sunscreen is reef safe um, and I, I, I have no reason to doubt them. Don't put more on. Put it on my arms. Warwick Farms. <laughs> we got Casper the friendly ghost down here. <laughs> it's rubber. We're gonna fall. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry baby girl. There are some times when sailing's idyllic and perfect and then there's other times when the wind is howling, the generator's on. And the angles are grinding. Yeah. So much for paradise. So much paradise. That got to make hay while the wind blows. <laughs> this is my project. It's a handle. These are the broken ones. It's impossible to find one like that anymore. They don't make them. So you got to get one that's close and just MacGyver it into position. You're good at that. If anyone can do it, uh, you can. I don't know about that. I haven't finished it yet. Grind on, baby. Grind no, on. I'm a rooster when it comes to this stuff. I'm a no rooster. Idea. Who do you think you are? The bachelor? The bachelor? Maybe I will be after this. It's a dog.